Hey, how's it going? So before we get into the video, there's a straw poll in the description where you all can decide whether or not this is going to be the last alt account video, or at least the last one for a while if you want me to start an Iron Man instead, but I will talk about that more at the end of the video. That's just the too long didn't watch version, so please go ahead and vote. So I've pretty much just stayed here at Motherload since the last progress video, and I've only left a couple times to see the surface of the world. I've gotten some XP lamps from Genies, and I use them all on Slayer, and I've ended up getting a couple Slayer levels since the last video. I just feel like Slayer is such a slow skill, especially from the start. Other than that though, I've just been gaining straight up mining XP, averaging like 20 to 25k XP per hour. Then as soon as I hit 82 mining, I started using the Dragon Pickaxe special attack to boost my mining by 3 levels to get that sweet Runite Ore. I wanted to see how many Runite Ores I could get before I actually hit 85 mining, just as like a test to see all the extra profit I would make just because I had the Dragon Pick. And getting Rune really makes a huge difference, they're worth over 12k each, so just getting one of them is more than enough to double my profit per inventory. When you get 82 mining, you only have one minute before you lose your 85 boost, which kind of sucks and you can only get a few ores in time. But it's nice at 83 because you get two minutes and at 84 you get a whole three minutes of level 85 boost and by the time you lose it at level 84, your spec is already halfway recharged. When I had 82 mining, I think I only got like 10 runite ores that whole level, but by the time I had 84, I was getting them like every other inventory. So all this footage was from over the course of the last month, which means I did lose membership at one point, so I had to go get a bond, which I had made more than enough money for. This was going to be my first time price checking my loot since the last progress video, and I wasn't expecting much since I didn't even hit 85 mining yet. Like, I knew I had enough for a bond, but when I saw how much I had exactly, I was pleasantly surprised. 11.7 mil is not bad at all considering I had already purchased a bond before, and the dragon pick, so I've actually made even more from here just getting to level 84. I love when people do this at the GE. It's just like... Why, man? I always try to sell as little of my ores as possible so I can keep track of what I've gone from Motherload Mine, so I sold some of the random junk I had in my bank, and then I just sold off all the coal that I had. When I recorded this, Bonds had just hit 3 mil, and now at the time of recording this, they're over 3.3 mil, and I've been told that they only even buy at 3.5 mil now. I don't want to sound like an old guy, but I remember when Bonds first came out and they started getting up to 1 mil and people were freaking out because they were so expensive. That's just the way inflation works though, and my opinion on the price of Bonds for when mobile comes out is that for the first few weeks or couple months, the Bonds might shoot up or down in either direction, which I'm not really sure of, and I have no idea whether it'll be a lot or little in either direction, I really feel like it could just go either way. But what I am confident about is that they will eventually go back to their equilibrium and continue to rise with inflation as they always have. Anyways, I put my offer in for the OS Buddy price, and usually with Bonds, if you put in an offer for a couple hundred K under market value and leave them in for some time, they'll buy eventually. So I did that, and like five over 10 minutes later the offer went through while I was mining and I redeemed it for another two weeks of membership. And not too long after that I hit the famous level 85 mining which meant I didn't have to keep worrying about using the boost every five minutes and I could just chill without trying to rush in as many ores as possible within that small time frame. And as soon as I hit 85 I went to check how many ores I got from the dragon pickaxes special and it ended up being 45 runite ore which is worth about 500k. So besides just the 10% speed increase from the dragon pick all the extra rune definitely made it a worthwhile investment. I went to go try my luck mining runite rocks, but every single world was either empty rocks or had people already mining them. And I managed to snag a few, but for the time I spent, it really wasn't worth it. Like I said before, the progression at Motherload is extremely slow, and right now I have 87 mining, and it's still going to be weeks before I even reach 92 for Amethyst. And even then, when I do hit that, I mean, then what? There's really no content. I mean, I could just talk over me mining and complain about how slow the XP is, but I don't think that'd be very entertaining. I've had a lot of people keep asking me about making an Iron Man or a Hardcore, and the thing is that I would love to play three or more accounts at once, but that's just not doable for me. I can play two accounts without too much of a problem, so I'm kind of at a crossroads whether or not to continue the alt or start the Iron Man. My membership on the alt just ran out a couple days ago, so now I'm going to let you all decide what I do next and what you would rather see because I can only do one or the other. I do have a free-to-play hardcore I kind of just messed around on when the game mode first came out, and its username is Hard Mudkip, but I'm going to assume that if I do make it, you'd rather see it from scratch, so that is what I would do. So please vote in the straw poll in the description, and you're going to have three options, Iron Man, Hardcore Iron Man, or Alt. And if the Iron Man and Hardcore have over 50% of the total votes combined between them, 
then I'll make whichever one has more votes between those two. If you guys do end up picking one of the Iron Man modes, then there will be a lot of videos, at least at the start. Like, I'm talking at least a couple per week because the progress is going to be very fast to start. But I'm sure over time it'll slow down, like after a month or two. I have no problem with any of the three options, so please let me know what you would want to see because that's the whole reason why I make videos, to entertain. And I truly do love making these videos, so I want to say thank you for watching them because I really do appreciate it. Anyways, I will also have the Discord link in the description, so come and join the party over there. And my clan chat mudkip is always open, so feel free to come by and say hi. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, then please subscribe. It really would mean a lot. And again, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.